Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're back in the shed because of all this virus stuff that's still hanging around. I wish it was gone so we could get back out on the road. But today what we're doing is um, putting a diff and gearbox breather kit in the car. It's just an eBay kit that I'll show you in a second. Um, but it should be very simple. Like there's already factory lines. We're gonna sort of tap into them. I'm gonna show you what um, I'm thinking about doing. I don't know what other people have done, but um, the simplest way I think is gonna be the way I'm doing it. So um, we're gonna get that done today. And also I've got some RGB uh, like neon strip lights to go in the canopy. And uh, I'll tell you the reason I'm putting them in later on if we get time. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna firstly start by doing the diff breather kit. We've got Alicia here. She's gonna help me film. She's studying. Good girl. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna dive right into it. No, don't, my writing's really messy. <laughs> All right, so firstly, um, I'll show you the kit that I have ordered. It is an eBay kit, comes in a cardboard box, no branding, so um, obviously someone's just making this up at home, but what we've got is uh, four little breathers with a locking nut on here. Um, so they're like a little filter, everything comes loose, so just be careful, you wanna sort of thread lock all that. Um, we get one stainless steel laser cut plate, it looks like. We get two poly fittings with the, um, the, I think they're called like shark bite fittings or push lock fittings or something like that. We also get two of these little fittings here. So they are an eighth BSP thread, I believe. And uh, these don't actually screw directly into the gearbox because the, the um, barb that's in the gearbox is like this. Um, and it sort of is press fitted in. So I really recommend you go and buy two of these fittings, which is just eighth BSP to a uh, small barb. And uh, I'll show you the reason for that soon. It's uh, very important that we get these, otherwise you're gonna have a hell of a time with this kit. What's first? I have no idea. Okay, so neither do I really. Um, I think we're just gonna start on the rear diff and uh, try and run the lines up. Actually, I'm gonna mount that first, I think. An important thing to note is that this is what's called a four port um, diff breather kit. So that means that there is four breathers. So we want one for the rear diff, one for the transfer case, one for the gearbox, and one for the front diff. Just trying to find a bit of a location for it, and I think the best thing is gonna be, because on the um, firewall here, it's kind of crooked, and I don't really like the look of it, but if you just jump up here, Alicia, and just shine down there, there's two factory bolts on this bracket here. Um, now, they're just like an eight mil bolt or something like that, but what I'm actually gonna do is fold a bit of aluminium, um, just 90 degrees up like that, and uh, we're gonna use those two bolts, and I'm gonna try and mount that just there so we get obviously that's nice and high it's going to clear everything um, and then the back of the lines can just run down there so um, I've got a bit of aluminium strip and it's just going to take a vice to bend it so hopefully if you guys are following the same thing you can do the same um, and then we're just going to mount this to the aluminium strip I'm actually going to um, use some small bolts and just use two bolts and bolt it rather than screw it um, and yeah it, should, it honestly will look really neat there so I'm pretty happy with that location so we're going to stick with that and um, this is the aluminium strip I'm gonna use, so it's just really easy to work with because you can bend it in the vise. And uh, yeah, that should be plenty strong enough for what we're gonna do. All right guys, so that's the uh, finished bracket. So obviously it's just a 90, a um, couple of holes for the two factory holes that I just showed you there. And uh, we're only gonna use two of the bolts and uh, we've got them nice and parallel here. So we've already got the nuts off for this, so it should just drop straight on. All right, so that's that bracket all mounted. Um, looks pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. So what we're gonna do now is start running all the lines. So back here on the rear diff, you can see our breather line is um, actually just a uh, hose pushed onto this barb here. So the hose runs up to the top and actually goes into the chassis rail. What I'm gonna do is uh, pop this bad boy in. So I've managed to get the first uh, breather in. So this is the back diff. 
Um, so we've got one line coming up through there and it follows the chassis, uh, lays on top of the chassis actually, and it comes all the way back down to here. So I've left enough just for a little bit of flex. Um, obviously the center of the diff doesn't actually drop down that much, um, so it should be fine. But that is the first one done. So next is gonna be the uh, gearbox and transfer case. All right, so just sliding under the car here. And uh, this is our transfer case. So we've got the drive shaft just there going back to the rear diff. Uh, transfer case and then your little half shaft thing going to your full drive front diff. And uh, this here is the breather for this. So if we slide that pipe off, you can see that barb there. And uh, we're not going to stuff around with that because it's not a threaded uh, barb that I can tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this pipe back over the top of the gearbox. This is the shifter up here. So follow that pipe back over. We're just back over the other side here. So this is that hose here on the side of the gearbox. And uh, it actually runs up to a bracket. It's going to be very hard to show you, so I can't really. Just over the other side of it, just there, is uh, the gearbox breather. So that runs to a barb. Right about where my hand is, I'm not going to be able to show you guys that, but there is a barb there. Put our hands up here. I'm going to pull the hoses off of the barbs up top, because that is the breather up there, which will leave us two hoses, one for the gearbox and one for the transfer case. So we're going to tap into the factory lines, these being the factory lines here, uh, run it over to our breather kit and uh, we should be sweet. I decided to use one of these fittings on the rear diff just because it uh, goes straight up and it's not a 90, which means I'm going to have to use this one on these gearbox and um, transfer case breathers. So like I said before, we've got a little brass eighth uh, female barb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to push the uh, standard hose that I just showed you that's back on the ute onto this barb and uh, that's going to allow us to use the push lock fitting run it over the gearbox and uh, up to our breather kit. So gonna go ahead, lock tight that on and uh, fit it all. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film because it's a really awkward spot. You are the strength, you're all I need, need, need. Oh, gonna give it a shot, only one of me to shield you all from the enemy. guys the uh, diff breather kit is done look at that boy look how good that looks it's in a good spot so I'm pretty happy with that um, the last pipe what I decided to do is just uh, I zip tied it just here I don't know if you guys can see that but um, obviously then I just use that fitting that I explained and then back to the top section so they're all in nice and tight everything's zip tied up underneath so now that that is done diff breather kit sorted very easy install um, I'm gonna quickly do these lights so the reason I'm doing that is uh, we do already have canopy lights, as you can see. Um, and what I'm going to do is, because these are sort of like a dim LED strip that you can uh, control the brightness and all that and the color on the phone, is I'm going to put one strip up here. I'm going to put two strips down the middle and one strip on the other door. Um, there is two different lengths in there, so that's going to be perfect. But the reason is, is that last time we went camping and I left this light on, there was literally 70,000 million bugs stuck to this carpet here. And um, I had to dust them all off. And that's because they're very attracted to these white lights. So my thought, and I don't know if it's, it's going to work, is that these lights, if I change into a pink or something, maybe the uh, mosquitoes and bugs don't like pink and uh, they're not gonna fly into the canopy and I can, I can kind of leave them on and I can control it from my phone then at least. So they do use a 3M tape. This is another eBay kit by the way, I've bloody been shopping on eBay a fair bit. Um, so they do use 3M tape, so we wanna peel that off, um, make sure that the surface is wax and grease removed nice and um, clean, and we're gonna lay the strip down, track the wire back similar um, down the guts of this one, uh, similar to this guy, and uh, we wanna end up with the wires in the back of here then we're going to wire it up and uh, have a test and we can shut the roller door and show you what it's going to look like at night. I think it'll look pretty sick, but 
Um, it's very similar to the rock lights I got. So when the whole kit and caboodles turned on like rock lights and these lights in the canopy, it's actually gonna look pretty cool. So I am very excited for this one. So I finished uh, mountain strips. So we got one on each door, one running down closest to this side on that side, and uh, one running down closest to the other side, uh, close to this wall here. I've decided to steal, I mean, these are bloody thin wires. I'm not expecting this thing to last very long, but um, I stole an earth just from the earth on my um, USBs. And so that's fine. And then I've just taken the positive back to one of my rocker switches, which means, that if everything is plugged in which it is here um, and i've scanned that if i hit this rocker switch we should get light so here we go three two one and boy so the main benefit to these is as you can see they're off and we've got the app here so we turn them on they come on them off they come off so as i'm walking away from the um vehicle we can just turn it off with our phone Turn it back on, which is pretty cool. And then we've also got our color wheel. So just going through that. So it looks pretty cool as well. And uh, with the rock lights, unfortunately they're different apps. It doesn't work on the same app. So that kind of sucks, but either way, that looks pretty cool. I've pulled the roller door down and we've got a little bit of light just so we can film a little bit. But um, if we come along here, turn that on that's the effect we get so it's pretty cool um it's just just enough to sort of work at night i imagine if we turn the rest of the lights off it'd be a lot brighter but um it's just going to help with all the bugs just like they just can't can't live in here it's my canopy so um i'm just going to have to evict them yeah i'm just going to evict them next time with some fire spray but um that should hopefully like it's just not as bright because if you turn that one off and you go to that one it's it's really bright so um it just gives us a good option and also it's pretty cool you can flex with it a bit so like you can just rock up to camp and just be like Ooh. so today what we've done is the diff breather kit very cheap kit very easy kit to install could should be able to do it at home and we've also done the canopy lights which is very exciting because it's cool it's going to make for some cool photos it's actually practical which i love um, so I'm happy with both those mods. Thank you everyone for watching. There's some exciting news coming and I appreciate it if you've made it this far in the video even though it's only little mods, but there is big mods coming. So look forward to it. Thank you for watching. Catch us next time.